taking photos, unaware this was the start of an eruption. There was a bit of like an eerie feeling. I don't know what's going on here. Um, the last thing I saw was just the whole lake just lifting up in a massive explosion. And then they're told to run. Ran about 10 metres, if that, before getting hit by um, just like a wall of black. The Langford family was on holiday from Sydney. Jesse was 19 at the time. And today, a New Zealand court heard how he faced the decision to leave his parents and sister behind to seek help. My dad was sitting up, saying that he was struggling to breathe, trying to rip off the gas mask. Um, and then my mum wasn't moving at all. It still bothers me making the decision to get up and walk away. Pretty much just said my goodbyes as best as I could. He was the only member of his family to survive the Fakari eruption. The body of his sister Winona Langford has never been found. In New Zealand, a trial has begun of three companies and three individuals blamed for the death and injury of tourists in the White Island volcanic eruption. The blast in December 2019 killed 22 people. 17 of them were Australians. A court has been told the victims were given no warning at all of the risks they were taking on. New Zealand sells itself on adventure. But this trial is hearing about the horror visitors to Fakari were forced to endure. Flying boulders, poisonous ash, scorching temperatures and 47 fragile humans standing in the way. This volcano eruption involved a massive explosion. The reality, sir, is that the tourists were going into the crater of an active volcano. Just three years earlier, an eruption just as large had happened in the middle of the night, meaning that time no one was hurt. But none of that, it is being alleged, was passed on to tourists or even staff. The end result was that tourists and workers went to the crater of an active volcano without being advised properly of the risks. They were not prepared, not warned, not dressed for the firestorm that was coming. The island is privately owned by the Buttle Brothers, who were minting it, making a million dollars a year selling visiting rights to tour operators through their private company, WML. WML was obliged to understand the risks of what it was doing. It never bothered to understand the risks properly. Newlyweds Matthew and Lauren Ury had hoped for a relaxing holiday. Jesus. But today a court heard the Americans were instead forced to run for their lives as their excursion to Fakari White Island ended in horror. And I remember feeling my flesh burning and yelling out at one point that just in pain, I checked as soon as the cloud cleared to make sure my wife was okay. I was positive we were going to die and I, if we were going to die, I wanted to be next to him. The Americans have travelled to Auckland for the trial, with Mr Yuri telling the court he did not understand what a volcanic level 2 alert meant. Never in my wildest dreams would have gone on that island had I known an eruption was level 3. The couple are the first witnesses in WorkSafe New Zealand's prosecution of the volcano's owners and two tourism companies. The regulator alleges not enough was done to manage the risks of running tours. Ms Yuri told the court she's been having surgery once a month for most of the three and a half years since the eruption. Important to note, the charges relate only to events before the disaster, not during or after the eruption. Crown Research Institute, GNS Science and tour operator White Island Tours are among the parties that have already pleaded guilty to failures in the lead up to the tragedy. Fakari White Island, a magnet for thrill seekers and a lifeline for the local economy. 
but on December the 9th, 2019, just after two o'clock, it erupted. No, 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 no. 47 people were on the island as a violent and deadly cloud of steam, rocks and ash engulfed tourists and their guides. There is a number still remaining on the island who are currently unaccounted for. In the moments after the eruption, survivors filmed the panic as they frantically tried to help the injured. And an active police search and rescue operation is underway. It would take four days before it was deemed safe enough for a specialist team to recover six of the bodies still on the island. To a guide, Hayden Marshall Inman and Australian tourist Winona Langford were never found. Helicopter pilots who managed to land an hour after the eruption and bring back 12 badly injured people were praised and recognised for their efforts. During this interview with One News, Mark Law wished he'd ignored official advice and gone back to retrieve everyone. Yeah, I would have got them all, that's for sure. Yeah, and I wouldn't have stopped. 22 people died. Almost all the 25 survivors suffered severe burns. More than 300,000 square centimetres of donor skin was imported from overseas. Some of them were hot ash burns, some of them hot air burns, and there were some that were acidic burns. GNS and in-flight charters were the first to plead guilty. The helicopter company was fined more than $200,000. In-flight was the one-stop shop for the customer to satisfy themselves that it was safe to go. Others followed, including White Island Tours, which hasn't yet been sentenced but faces fines in the millions. And just three days before the trial was due to start, the three remaining helicopter companies also pleaded guilty. Although we have the benefit of information from our monitoring, we are not able to predict future behaviour of the volcano with any certainty. We never talk about volcanic activity being predictable. Did you know that Ficardi could erupt without warning? No. By the time they mentioned anything about uh, whatever level it was, we were well and truly set foot on the island and that was like at the very end of what they call a safety briefing. And the actual description of that volcanic alert level? There was nothing. There was just, oh, it's a level two today. Um, it meant jackal to us, honestly, because they don't say if it's, you know, 100, level 100 is the maximum or level 10 or is the maximum. They just said today's a level two. We chose what to wear because one, the weather, because it was hot. Um, and two, basically how they've described it on the pamphlet is it's a casual walk, you know, it's as long as you've got enclosed shoes and you're covered, that's all you really need. Do you recall when you lost the hard hit? Yes. So as soon as that first wind gust hit us, um, like, as I said in that video, you know, like if you look at things slow motion, uh, as I leaped to dive behind that rock, like mid-air, that first gust, gust of wind would have hit me, um, and that's when that taken the whole hat off, basically. Um, there was no chance in keeping that hat on you, regardless of whether you were strapped to the front or strapped to the back kind of thing. I can ask a similar question about the mask. How did the mask go in the eruption, the gas mask? So... I was lucky to have my mask because, <laughs> sorry, um, because we were instructed to put the straps over the helmet, but because I've taken it off after we went to the really stinky part near the crater, um, I had it hanging around my neck. And that was only the, the only, pretty much the only saving grace that made me keep my mask on. Um, and because I knew that, you know, if there was any chance of not breathing any of whatever's coming at us, um, I would have to keep my mask on. And it wasn't really around my head because it was around the straps were around my neck. Um, and I kind of just lifted the mask and held it towards my face um, as we were riding out the waves. Everybody just purely went on fight or flight instinct and ran directly for the jetty because, you know, like, the only exit path really is the jetty. Like you have to choose between the crater or the jet jetty and then anybody with some sort of logic will head towards the jetty. There was no instruction about what to do in an emergency or if there's emergency shelter or if there's an emergency kit somewhere hidden. Um, it was just like, you're totally on your own. Hey.
Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell down below to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you for your support.